Okay, Dr. J. Double or nothing. What side of the street am I on? South side, third column, down right next to the mailbox. You owe me four bucks. I hate it when you do that. <laughs> A few more tests, and the Jeffco three-dimensional homing device will be perfect. My optimum frequency transmitter is outperforming my wildest expectations. I'll be able to use it to find anyone or anything, anytime. As soon as I can find my glasses. Where am I now, Dr. J? <laughs> I didn't think you could fit into your school locker. The real trick is getting out. <laughs> you can't fool the old... Don't you pull? Ah! <laughs> Andrew, why do you insist on playing these silly games? You're acting like a teenager. That's because I am. Well, yes, well, grow up. Sorry, Dr. J. Anyway, I got your mail. Oh. Thank you. You know, this gizmo of yours really works. That gizmo may someday help to rescue trapped miners or locate missing... Dr. J, you look sick. I may be very shortly. My brother Hartley is coming to town. Famed scientist explorer Dr. Hartley Jeffcoat, whom we are told has a startling new archaeological discovery. Okay, there. That looks like it might be him now. He's probably traveling with his entourage. See if you can get a shot of him. Amazing. You never guess that that guy over there is my brother. Yeah, look at all that hair. I, I mean, you've got hair too. His just looks thicker because he's so tall. Not that you're short. You'd be considered tall in a lot of societies. I, I mean, shut up, Andrew. Dr. Jeffco, any truth to the rumor of a romance between you and Princess Alexandra? No comment, uh, except to say that she's a lovely young woman great polar player and a marvelous masseuse. You know, I'd almost forgotten what it is. I can't stand about Hartley. What's that? Hartley. Ladies and gentlemen, as chairman of Monumental Oil, it is my pleasure to present Dr. Hartley Jeffco. Thank you, Chris. Imagine, with all the money he makes, you'd think he could afford a normal name. <laughs> Anyway, while I was conducting a routine geological survey on behalf of the Monumental Oil Company, I unearthed the fossil skull, which I believe to be the earliest example of Homo sapiens ever to be found in South America. With regard to our postponing the drilling, I think we did the right thing, Matthew. I mean, this publicity can only help Monumental. Well, I hope our stockholders agree with you, Gris. Now, the Monumental Oil Company has been very supportive all along in allowing me the honor to present to you the Jeff Coat Man. Ever humble. And to verify the authenticity of my find, I've chosen the world's foremost authority in carbon dating, my brother, Dr. Benjamin Marion Jeff Coat. Marion? I was named after my great aunt, a fact I thought was buried as deep as that skull. Nice name. Benny. Hardly. Benny. God, it's been a long time. Huh? Well, it hasn't actually been that long. <laughs> By my calculations, it's only been 11 years. And three months. And two days. Three. I crossed the date. <clears throat> oh, uh, Hardly. This is my good friend, Andrew Clements. Andrew, nice to meet you. Incredible. I finally get to meet the great Hartley Jeffco. Uh, so how long are you staying with Dr. J? Staying with the... Well, actually, Andrew, I'm sure that Hartley will... Sounds great. That is, if it's okay with you, Ben. Well, sure. If you can't find a hotel, I guess... Peter! 
Benjamin, Andrew, I'd like you to meet Peter Brock. He's my assistant. How do you do? It? Without his help, I don't know where I'd be. <laughs> you hardly talk, you'd think I was responsible for his achievements. The truth is, he's the big wheel. I'm just one of his cogs. Oh. Well, shall we? Cool vehicle. Well, go on, hop in. I'll give you a ride. Go on. Ben? Thank you, Hartley. But, frankly, I find these gas guzzlers less than environmentally friendly. I have my own modest, yet perfectly reliable mode of transportation. So I say to the Duchess, well, of course he came up short, madam. He's a pygmy. <laughs> oh, I must be boring everyone. Seems as like I've been talking for hours. You probably have been. Benny, I thought you were supposed to remove your clothes before you washed them. <laughs> ben, something wrong? Wrong? What could possibly be wrong? My Jeep broke down. I couldn't get a tow truck. So I had to push it two miles. Then I couldn't get a cab, and I had to walk all the way home in a driving rainstorm. What could possibly be wrong? Well, I'm sorry, Benny. And here's me having the best time I've had in years. Kind of reminds me of our family. I'm surprised you remember. Oh, how can I forget? But in our family, the talent was, and always will be, my big brother. Oh. You know, no one could play the piano like him. Really? Oh, ben, how about it? No. Oh, come on, for old time's sake. Huh? Come on, Dr. Come on. J. Come on, Benny. Oh, it's been a long time. Do it. Uh, maybe I should... Play. All right. All right. Maestro. Ah. The tails. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you must always do that. <laughs> It's unbelievable. You are still the greatest, Ben. Mind if I lend you a hand? I won't kick your finger. I don't care about my finger. I'm worried about breaking a nail. It's long enough. It's high enough. It's, it's... Blocked. <coughs> nice football. Yeah, Uncle Hartley gave it to us. Uncle Hartley? Where is Mr. Wonderful? Mom and Hartley went sightseeing in a limo. They said if they weren't back in time for dinner, we should eat without them. It's just breakfast time. I know. Oh, great. I'm dating your skull, he's dating your mother. I've never seen her look so radiant. Your brother can do everything. He even hit me with a 40-yard spiral right in the numbers. Well, did he ever mention, uh, I used to play a little football myself when I was in college? Not a word. Oh. Well, uh, why don't we do the comparison test? Go ahead. Go for the long one. Go for it. Go on. Back. Back, 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 back! Hit me! Uh -oh.
I'm fine. I'm fine. I think I surprised him before he got much of anything. The skull. God, he didn't find this. This could make your brother the most famous man in the world. Uh, what I meant was one of the most famous men in the world. Uh, certainly not as famous as you. Uh, all you need is one more invention, and you'll be right back up there where you belong. On top. Andrew, Andrew. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Still, this is going to be pretty hard to beat. I wonder what could have happened to him. And so, upon verification of the skull, the Monument Loyal Company will be proud to sponsor a full archaeological dig. What's keeping Dr. J? He was supposed to be here an hour ago. I just hope he hasn't had more problems with his Jeep. Ah, uh, here comes the man of the hour. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the renowned scientist, Dr. Benjamin Marion Jeffco. I apologize for keeping you all waiting. Uh, after using the most sophisticated dating methods and computer analysis, I have come to the indisputable conclusion that the Jeffcoat skull is a fake. What? Once you paid the slightest attention to detail, you would know that this skull is not a day over 2,000 years old. You think that I've created some kind of elaborate hoax here, don't you? Ooh. You do have the expertise to fake a fossil, one that would have fooled a lesser scientist. You always did underestimate me. Yo, doctors, I think we should look at this objectively. No, I can't believe you're jealous. The big picture's clear now. You switched the skull in some desperate attempt to sabotage me. What? Uh, let's try to keep a level... How pathetic! Ed... You get caught red-handed and you still refuse to take responsibility. It's just like the bicycle. Not the bike. Bicycle? What is he talking about? Oh, don't pretend with me. You took my bicycle without telling me and I never got it back. Your brother stole your bike? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Are you accusing me of being a liar? Liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay, okay, guys, time out. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Stop the kidding part of this. Come on! Andrew! You all right? Now look what you've done. You broke his tooth. It's not mine. I floss. Of course it's not yours. It's a fossil. It's got to be his. Wait a second. Wait a second, this doesn't make any sense. This is an upper left incisor and his are intact. Somebody must have switched the skulls during the burglary. Burglary? Someone broke into the lab the other day. Nothing much was taken, so... I know. You entrusted me with something special and I let you down. I'm sorry, Hartley. Same old Benny. Well, this is no time to get squishy. You're right. It's time to restore honor to the Jeffcoat name. But how? Focus on the bigger picture. No, 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 no. Focus on the details that make up the big picture. Firstly, the skull was replaced, not just stolen. Why? Well, obviously someone wanted to discredit the find. Uh... Pretty good copy. Even you couldn't tell till you tested it, Dr. J. A remarkable paleontological replica. Expertly crafted. Intricate detail. Definitely created by someone who had first-hand knowledge of the real skull. Peter. Peter. Stolen, I can't believe it, that's horrible. Yes, but fortunately, once I have determined the molecular structure of the tooth, my new tracing system should have no difficulty in locating the skull. You should see the sucker work. Dr. J can zero in on a sand flea in a windstorm. Thank you, Andrew. 
The point is, we should be able to find it in the next two or three hours. That's wonderful. I'll alert McGregor at the Gazette to stand by. Excellent, Peter. I'm picking him up nice and clear. He just turned left off Main, heading north on Elm. Roger, we're on it. I think this is the first time we've ever worked together. Yeah, well, it's the first time we've ever seen eye to eye on anything. <laughs> uh, except the time we both wanted Robbie the Robot for Christmas. We both get underwear. <laughs> I don't get it. Peter was so loyal. I wonder what would make him do such a thing. Five years down the road, he rediscovers the skull, perhaps the glory. Wait a minute. What glory? He did it for the money. Glory. Money. Glory. Money. Glory. Money. Glory. He just entered the Garber Arms Hotel. Good work, Andrew. We're going in. Just sit tight until you hear from us. I still save money. I'll take that. Clever switch, Peter. Unfortunately, too clever. One thing still puzzles me. Did you do it for the money or the glory? I can answer that. Monumental oil was behind this find. They are. Problem is, I promised a few private investors there'd be no delay in drilling. So you see, not only are fortunes at stake, so is my life. <coughs> now let's add a little fuel to the fire. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. As soon as this gauge reaches maximum, the skull will be totally incinerated, and you'll be joining me. I hate to spoil a little barbecue, Methy, but the police will be arriving at any minute. You see, I planted a tracking device right here, under Peter's lapel. Nice try. Hey, what's going on? Stupid machine. Just a few more minutes. That's okay. Take your time. We had a deal, Methy. You were paid in full. If you hadn't insisted on keeping this damn skull, this whole thing would have gotten out of control. Guess you were right, Hart. Did it for the money. No, Ben. The way I see it, you were right. You did it for the glory. I know this is gonna sound squishy, but I'm sorry I got us into this. You know, I've always hoped that the Cold War between us would melt, but <laughs> this isn't what I had in mind. Why did you come back? Why? Well, I wanted to show you that I could do something important, too. I wanted you to be proud of me. I've always been proud of you. You have? Ever since I've known you. Yeah, well, not as proud as I've been of you. Isn't that just like you? Always having to go me one better. Well, time's run out. No!
keep him covered while you get the skull. Wait a minute. Ouch. Oh, hot potato. I can't help it. The guys are hot then. To Hartley Jeffcoat, who found one of the oldest human fossils. And that does not refer to me, Andrew. <laughs> wait, wait. To Dr. Benjamin Jeffcoat, a brilliant scientist, a valiant adventurer, and the finest brother a guy could have. Oh. Right, cheers. 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 <laughs> Can I do it now? Yeah. A little surprise, Benny. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Um. <gasps> ah! Oh! 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 I don't know what to say. Three speeds, wide saddle, balloon tires, even the bell. It's exactly the same bike. Except, actually, mine was blue. No, Benny, it was red. No, it was blue. It was red. Blue. Your bike was red. Blue. Red. Blue. Red. Blue. Red. I'm not getting in the middle of this one. <laughs>